Hi everyone, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and today I tell you how I like to use my taco by High Mountain Gear. The taco is a kind of portalage that is soft and so it's super light. It's one third of a rigid ledge. Uh, it shines on roots like the nose where you think you will have some space on ledges but if you want a better night sleep or it's too crowded uh, you can sleep suspended on a single point but also if you want to do a speed wall you want to stay light which is really good even on big wall you can look into these types of ledges uh, they will serve you well so first i bought a specific mattress with it i know that kyle willis the developer of this product he uses a mummy shape sleeping pad by thermo rest uh, but i like a rectangular one but i've not tried the mummy but what I like about the rectangular shape is that it gives me a lot of space, room for my legs, uh, room for uh, when I sit down and when I sleep, it's, it's just a little bit wider. I like that a lot. So I choose the wide one and the taco is designed perfect to accept this size. It's a 25 inch wide by 72 inch long. Uh, my feet, they are a little bit longer than that. They go over the edge, but this is by no means uncomfortable. Uh, I like a lot of comfort on my big walls and uh, this, is, this is just perfect, perfectly fine. I know you guys are maybe not thinking about your Yosemite season next uh, May, June. But really, you know what? You should think about it because in Big Wall, preparation, organization is key. Maybe it's time to start thinking about it. Let's go. So before you go on the wall, you want the sleeping pack to be inserted inside your taco. If you want a spreader bar, see my design here. Click on the link and you can put it ahead of time and it stays there the whole wall. Uh, I recommend a spreader bar if you are uh, fully suspended, there is no ledge to make the cooking, etc. Uh, this is what m will make your life a lot easier on the ledge, uh, just more room for the shoulders. So by the way, if you want a comparison between the G7 pod, the taco, and the forest hammock. You can click on the link here and let's go with installing the taco. I will pump my pad. So one thing that's really important is when I inflate it, I will inflate it a little bit more than sleeping on the ground, but not too much. Look what happened to my pad when I really over inflated it and then uh, went right on and stepped on my ledge like it was a rigid ledge or something. And that's it, it started to delaminate. Uh, so. I could still use it, but obviously it's not good. So I tested it when it was quite deflated and really the comfort was really good already. You don't need to over inflate it. I will finish pumping it. And now if I go on it, like this and All right, what I feel is that my back goes too much to the back and my butt goes a l sinks a little bit, especially when I try to sit down and use it as a reclining chair. 
I find that my butt slipped a little bit towards the front. So I asked Kyle to change uh, the model a little bit and he did. So there's two new attachment points here and there is a daisy chain on the side. And so I created a suspension system with a three millimeter cord that I will show you very important. So I passed the three mil cord at the bottom ring of the daisy chain attach the middle of the three millimeter cord here and there is one strand that goes towards the the butt here that is a fixed length so i pick one carabiner for that i put it in the three mil and then on the other side i have another attachment point that is about one carabiner uh, of distance and i clip that and I made like a small quick draw length and I click clip this carabiner uh, here. And the advantage of these lengths and all adjustments is that when I want the reclining chair position, I will be able to just clip that same carabiner to uh, this loop that's made for that. And that makes the reclining chair. And I do the same on both sides. In order to adjust the exact length I want, uh, I just make sure that it was pretty even in height uh, when I'm in the portal ledge. And so I need two other carabiners on the other side. And boom. So with only four carabiners that I can use uh, to clip other stuff when I use the portal ledge, uh, I get a really convenient uh, ledge, well adjusted and super well suspended and comfortable. Wow, perfect. And now, because I have the spreader bar here, if I want to stand up, for example, I can pick the spreader bar and just stand up like this reach for stuff at the belay. Very convenient. If I want to go back down, like this. Okay. If I want to adjust the length of the air side, there is the roller cam buckle here. I can pick the sling with my thumb here. I can go up a little bit, pinch, the roller cam buckle and this releases it so now it's too low and now I can precisely adjust the height of it in steps until I get the perfect height adjustment a little bit more Oh yeah, this is perfect. So as I said, to get the reclining chair position, I put my butt on the center sling, or just about, right here. Then I take my rear carabiner and clip one side, rear carabiner to the other side, like this and I get in the reclining chair position. That's it. This sling is a little bit in the way, so I can pull it like this. This one also, I can put it in the daisy chain, for example. And this one I can clip in the carabiner. And now I have a great position to be cooking. There is the shoulder width is perfect to do the cooking right there. One thing that I heard is don't put your foot inside the fabric foot box here that's meant for the pad and push really hard because this is like pushing the, in the inside of a tent. It can rip some stitches. This is pretty basic. I've heard of one person doing that obviously not ideal 
uh, I used the taco and I uh, had some clients using the taco for you know a couple of nights and everything and I tested it a lot and it never happened to me uh, compared to some other ledges that uh, ripped a little bit uh, here and there but nothing happened with the taco yet. I also found out that if water goes in the taco it can create a puddle of water so I poked some holes in mine and I show you uh, you just have to click on the video right there click the link so very satisfied well that's it so are you ready for your next big wall uh, I am preparing for mine in May see you there in Yosemite